Okay, so first of all, I've started by drawing our rod AB resting on our two supports X and Y. Now, because the rod is uniform, it means that the weight will act in the middle. So we'll put that weight down in there. And because it had a mass of 4 kilograms, then the weight will be 4 G newtons. Let's put some measurements on as well. We're told that it rests on these two supports X and Y and A to X is 2 meters so put that in as 2 meters. Being a uniform rod of length 6 meters that means that because this acts in the center this will leave us with 1 meter there. We're also told that A to the second support Y is four and a half meters so that means that we've got two three we need an extra one and a half meters so we'll put that one in there 1.5 meters and then if we have this situation we're going to have reactions at the two supports X and Y so I'll put those reactions in okay so we'll call this one R for reaction and because it's going to be different to the one at Y, I'm going to put a subscript Rx. Okay, so we've got a reaction here acting on the support here. And we have a reaction here on Y, which I'll call Ry Newtons. Now this would be a typical drawing for a, a rod resting on, say, two supports. But what makes this problem special is that we now hang a particle of mass m kilograms and it's placed at a point C where AC is 5 meters. So C will be somewhere along here because at the moment we've got 2, 3, 4.5 meters so C will be a further half meter beyond here. So we just about put that in there. So we come along and we hang a mass of m kilograms from C so its weight is going to act downwards so that will be a weight of mg newtons. Now the effect that that's going to have then is to tilt this rod about the pivot y. Okay, So this is going to start to lift off of this support here x. So what's going to happen then just at the point of tilting, this reaction is going to reduce down to zero. It's basically going to disappear. So I'll take that off, okay, and our force diagram now becomes this. Okay, so this is the point of tilting about y, the reaction from the support x disappears. Okay, so our job then is to find M. Okay, so what we need to do is to take moments. And the best place to take moments is about Y. And that's because if I take moments about Y, this force here, which passes through the support, okay, passes through the point Y, will not enter the equation. And because I don't know it, that's uh, a good reason to take uh, moments about y. Okay, so I'm going to put down here that we're going to take moments about y. So I'm going to use the letter M to denote that I'm taking moments, saying that I'm taking about y, and I'm going to take the clockwise direction as being positive. Because I, f I want to find M, and it's easier if I keep M as a positive quantity. So taking moments about y. Okay, we'll start with the turning effect produced by the mg force. Okay, so that would be the force mg newtons multiplied by the distance to y, which is 0 0.5 okay, meters. So that's the moment produced by mg. And then the only other force that produces a turning effect is the 4G newtons here and that's going to want to turn it in the anticlockwise direction so that would be minus 
and we have the force 4g multiplied by the distance from here to the support okay so that's 1.5 meters so to times that by 1.5 now because the rod is in equilibrium the overall turning effect the overall moment in other words about y will be zero okay so all that's left to do now is just to solve this equation so here we have 0.5 mg so we just put 0.5 therefore 0.5 mg okay and 4g times 1.5 is 6g and if I add that to both sides I will have that 0.5 mg equals 6g I notice also that the g's cancel so just cancel divide both sides by g and finally to work out m I've just got to divide 6 by 0 0.5 And 6 divided by 0 0.5 gives us a mass m equal to 12 and the units would be kilograms but just m is 12. Okay.